Hey, Scott Sager here with RTC TV4. We're standing today in what was once the uh, Centennial Tower building here in Rochester. Now it's a vacant lot, and you can see behind me we've got some work being done. The new park's coming in. I've got Terry Lee. He's the executive director for the Fulton County Economic Development Corporation. Terry, tell us a little bit about what's happening here. I know that Fedco's been very uh, closely involved with this since inception. Yeah, since we were or are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, it was easy for us to uh, actually be the conduit to, to purchase the property. So we took private and some private donations and some city funds to acquire it. It's being held in a corporation that we formed or an LLC that, that Fedco formed to just hold the property. Gotcha. Um, our plan is to work with our development partners, uh, develop it as sort of an urban style park, mm -hmm. um, and then turn the ownership uh, over to the city of Rochester. So Excellent. So so the final resting place will be a, a park owned by the city of Rochester, yep, that's managed right. by the park board. That's right. That's Excellent. Right. Excellent. Well, we've got some scenes of that park and uh, we'll show that to you. That was put together by Shroff Landscaping and Nurseries. Uh, Mitch Melton helped with that, correct? That's right. Uh, Mark Shroff and Mitch Melton uh, put together, uh, worked with our design team uh, over the last uh, 12 months, 10 months, right. uh, to get our design finalized. And then once we felt like we had you know, version 7.0 or whatever. Uh, Mitch went to work on a WMV file and put together. It looks like a, it's an animated sort of drone flyover look yeah. at the park. You know, so uh, when we got that, it was like, okay, we got something to work with here. Let's get started. Um, and while we're raising additional funds to for the construction completion, um, and we're still a little bit short there, we wanted to go ahead and get the project underway mm -hmm. uh, because we know that uh, by the time the bills are, are due. Uh, we'll be ready to go on it, and, and we're just, I'm ready to kind of look forward to the next project, or uh, now almost, so sure. now that this one's underway. So. Sure, well, this is excellent, excellent work. A lot of people were involved in this. Of course, when you got that many cooks in the kitchen, everybody wants a little something different, and you guys were able to come to a nice compromise, as you'll see in uh, the video here. Uh, it's a beautiful walking park, just a nice green space. Folks can come in. A beautiful gateway to downtown Rochester, an historic corridor that you put together. Um, you say fundings, uh, you're not quite to the goal for what the anticipated budget needs to be. So how could folks out there help out a little bit, Terry? Yeah, um, again, uh, any donation made is uh, tax deductible to a, to a not-for-profit organization, 501c3 Fedco. So any donations can be dropped off or mailed, um, dropped off at or mailed to 822 Main Street. Okay. That's where the Chamber and Fedco have uh, office space together. Uh, just in your memo line, make the checks out to Fedco, and then in the memo line, just put uh, Centennial Park, Excellent. and that'll go right into the um, uh, to the fund that's paying the bills, basically. Excellent, so. excellent. So contributions still welcome uh, to be a part of this park to make it happen finally here. And uh, you kind of uh, hinted to the name. Uh, we hadn't told the viewers yet, but what is the official name going to be? Yeah, Centennial Park. Uh, the building that was that stood here prior to December 9, 2011 was Centennial Towers, right. which was so named uh, because the building was built in 1875 and dedicated in 1876, the nation's uh, Centennial. Uh, so it was named Centennial at that time, and this being the uh, uh, 2016 being the state of Indiana's bicentennial. Right. Uh, we wanted to play off the combination, sure. but it's really stuck with the original Centennial dedication name. So Centennial Park. Uh, it's known, it's, it's one of the state's, um, Indiana's Bicentennial leg Legacy Project uh, projects. From some of that so, grant money and things they were doing last year? There's no year. grant money involved. Okay. This is a designation as, yeah, from some of the grant money that helped us uh, acquire some other park properties gotcha. in, the, in the city. Um, and just get us on a list of projects that were that are going to be done as commemorative of the, yes, the city, uh, the, the state's Bicentennial. Sorry. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, very good. We well, we've had quite a few things uh, happen here over the past couple of days. I see work is being right. done. Um, projected start date for the real heavy uh, starting to come together. Um, projected start date for the real heavy starting to come together was last Monday. <laughs> okay, it was uh, last Monday. Yeah, so we tore out a bunch of sidewalk on Main Street. We wanted to replace all that. We had to move a water um, uh, valve. Um, some of the asphalt on this side will come up. We're getting drainage in. Uh, over the next couple of days, uh, some of the other infrastructure, landscape, hardscape, we're looking to start in the uh, 
in the month of June. Okay. And we we are hoping for a, a project site dedication before Labor Day. So. Excellent, excellent. So she's all coming together finally. Well, we'll until we have something happen like just happened, we're putting drains in and we hit part of the old uh, foundation sure. uh, walls uh, below grade. So we got uh, more work to yeah. do because of that, right? Well, it, it's working out okay. It's not a problem. We just have to go a little higher than we yeah. thought we we're going to have to with the drains. So well, with construction, there's always something, right? Yeah, of course. Very good. Well, we want to thank. Uh, are there some principal? Uh, folks who came together initially that we want to thank for sure, uh, pulling yeah. all this together. Who would that be, Terry? Yes, yeah, so First Federal Savings Bank, R&R okay. um, &R Rapid View, mm -hmm. um, the City of Rochester, and Fedco uh, really started the acquisition uh, piece about a year ago. Great. Um, and then uh, we started raising uh, donations in February, and we got some nice donations in from some organizations, uh, actually more toward the construction, you know, of the, of the park. Mm -hmm. Uh, versus just the acquisition and the clean out and the fill gotcha. uh, that we had expenses on before. Um, so yeah, First Federal Savings Bank, r and Rapid View really said, okay, let's get this turning. City was really quick to uh, get involved with what their intentions would be. Fedco knew the role it was going to play, so right. that was really the start of it. And um, I think we've put together um, close to 20 $28,000 in private donations or organization donations just last week. Wow. Um, so we're over 43000 in private funding to the project so far. And we're going to couple that with um, some city funds. Mm -hmm. And then we're also applying for a Fulton County Community Foundation grant that we hope to get um, like 15% of the whole project from or oh, up wow. to 25% of the actual construction project from the Community Foundation. That'll leave us just a little bit short, So, but we're going to get her done. And total budget on this coming in around what two hundred thousand ish? Um, the the construction budget one twenty five twenty five, and then acquisition and everything uh, around one ninety one okay. five twenty five. So we had, um, yeah, about seventy one mm -hmm. in acquisition, um, clean out, fill some legal fees and some other expenses. So right. yeah. Well, very good. Well, we're getting close, Just folks. to get it to. Great right, level. right, just to get this behind me here. So we want to make sure that you know, I will put the information back up on the screen. If you, your company, uh, individually or as a business, want to make a contribution, it is tax deductible. We're looking forward to seeing this uh, part come together. We want to thank everybody involved, and we'll give you some updates as we go along here. So Great. thank you for your time, yes, Terry. Scott, thank you. All right.